Hello everyone and welcome to episode 2 of Eagle Highlights. My name is George Garcia and I'm a product support specialist here at Autodesk. In this episode we're going to be covering aliases in Eagle. Now there are several commands in Eagle that can support aliases. The layers command, the window command, and the grid command. Now what are aliases? So right now we're looking at the Arduino at Mega 2560 and it has the default layers up. That's what we're looking at. But let's say, for example, we wanted to just see the top of the board. Well, if we right-click on the command, you'll notice that I've defined already a few aliases. So say I just want to see the top, I click here, top pads and vias. If I just want to see the bottom, bottom pads and vias. And if I want to return to the normal setup, I can click here on common. Now, aliases are very easy to define. Let's say we want to create a new one just to have the board outline, for example. Then what we'll do is we'll go to our layer settings, we'll click none, just like to mention, say apply. We'll say okay. And now we right click on it and we select new. And we'll call this one dimension. Say okay. Now whenever we want to return to that, we just right click. And say we're back at common, right click and we click dimension and we can just see the dimension. So obviously this is very useful for working through the various layers of your board. Now I mentioned that there's other commands that support it. For example in the case of window. Let's go ahead and return to our normal layer setup. If we go to window I've defined a few a few aliases already. We can select for example part one is the center processor, the Admega. If I go to analog one, then we're in the analog power pins. And again, the aliases here are defined the same way. You just zoom into an area of the board. You right click, select new, and just call this, for example, crystal. The names are completely arbitrary. You can give them any name you want. So if I have back to a zoomed out view and I want to zoom in on the crystal, crystal, and there we are. The final command that supports aliases is grid. So right now we have 5 mil grid. We can change, for example, to a metric grid. So that's how aliases work in Eagle. It's a very useful function, especially for the layers. If you just want to see the, the different layers that are going to be put, for example, in your Gerbers, you can set up an alias for each Gerber file and very quickly switch between them. Thank you very much for your time in this video. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to support at cadsoftusa.com. Thank you very much and have a great day, everyone.